Hello everyone, this is John AE5X, and this is a video pitting the RSP Duo against the Flex 6300 using the antennas shown here. Uh, the Flex is up at the top of the pitcher, and the RSP Duo is the small receiver at the very bottom to the right of the laptop, which is currently running uh, uh, RSP Play software that runs the receiver. And to the right of the receiver is the splitter. So I'm feeding the antenna simultaneously to the Flex and to the RSP Duo. Uh, the RSP Duo costs about $260. The Flex 6300 is around $2,000. And of course the Flex is a transceiver, the Duo is just a receiver. But I thought it would be interesting to see how they both did on um, FT8 and uh, Whisper uh, since they record their uh, signal to noise ratios. So here we are on 20 meters going into the Yagi. It's a uh, late afternoon, I think around 5 p.m. on a Friday. And uh, you can see the results. I've abbreviated the 15 second cycle of FT8. Uh, edited most of that out so we don't have to sit through the whole thing. But if you want to look at the numbers closely, um, hit the space bar on your keyboard and that will pause the video and you can examine or compare uh, a particular station and how well they're received on each uh, each of the receivers. Okay, let's go to Grid Tracker. It's kind of a neat program that works in conjunction with WSJT and counts the number of grids. What you want to look at here is the eight blue squares. Look at the bottom right one. That keeps a total count of uh, stations received and the one to the left of it, the one to the left of it is the total count. The one on the bottom right is the count for that particular FT8 cycle. I'm amazed at the duo. Very impressed and a bit disappointed actually at the, uh, at the flex. I thought the flex was going to absolutely blow it out of the water. Um, I knew it would and the reason I was doing this test was to see just how much, how much better the flex performed and uh, boy, what a surprise. Here's a video of the window behind the windows you were looking at previously showing the software that runs each receiver. Smart SDR on the bottom for the Flex and SDR Play on top for the uh, RSP Duo. It's the same software that RSP uses for all of the receivers. And it hardly stresses the uh, processor at all. I think I'm at 6 or 8%. Okay, back to WSJT for a minute. Um, again, it's late afternoon. Propagation is not so great, but it doesn't matter for the purpose of this test. We just want to see comparative SNR values of received stations. I've set up both receivers pretty much identically in terms of bandwidth, uh, 3 kilohertz. Um, and I've optimized each one for, for gain, for everything. I'm not using a noise blanker on either of them. All right, let's go to 40 meters now on the dipole. First, I went to Whisper on 40, and the results are almost identical with the exception of the second cycle bottom uh, contact. I don't know what was up with there. One recorded N7 SED, the other recorded in a uh, UK station. But other than that, all the numbers were identical. And uh, here's Grid Tracker, again on 40 meters. Um, I forget what time of day this is. It's uh, early evening, I believe. But you can see the count of which receiver is receiving the most number of, uh, of, of transmissions, not stations, but transmissions to decode. And the duo is just, uh, wow, this is the opposite, really, of what I expected. The antenna is a dipole up about 27 meters or 90 feet. It's an 80 meter dipole, but tuned for 40, going through a transmatch. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, I'm in southeast Texas, uh, near the orange square on the uh, flex display here. And there are quite a number of stations on, so I'm recording stations that are closely spaced, stations that are weak, 
and the duo is getting more of those than the flex incredible and by the way the duo has a receive range of I think one kilohertz up to three gigahertz and the flex is uh, six through 160 and regardless of that the duo is doing better okay we're uh, on six meters now the difference between the two receivers is greatest of all here on six meters and I, again I, when I saw that I tried to optimize both of the uh, both of the receivers particularly the flex because I think it's about 4 dB down from signals received on the duo on 6 meters and that's more extreme I think than uh, than on the other bands I don't know why that is I'm using a 3 element Yagi pointed currently to the northeast and this is on uh, Sunday late morning the VHF uh, ARRL VHF contest is going on so let's take a look at what Grid Tracker does with each of these. Again, look at the bottom two of the blue squares on the right of each of each screen. The left bottom one keeps a total count, and the right bottom one keeps the count for, for that cycle. And you can see the big difference in, in how well each of them decode. So I don't know uh, what, what to say about the Flex. It, uh, I've, I've been working a lot of stations on the Flex. I've never missed a de-expedition on any band, even 80 meters, uh, and yet this paints a whole new picture. Anyway, 73s, and thanks for watching.